What's up everyone, this is Stack of Cakes and I'm back with another Pez 2017 video. This is a kind of a further clarification of some of the stuff I posted in my first auction house information video, which you can check out. Uh, this is kind of further clarifying a few points of it uh, now that I've learned more about the auction house. Uh, the, the first thing I, I want to show you guys is uh, basically what everyone should know is that you cannot sell your own scout on the auction house for bidding. All you can do is you can sell it back to Konami for like nothing basically. So let's just see, I have a five star agent for Lofted Pass. So let's just see how much Konami is going to give me for this. If you click on that, you go sell scout. See, so they're going to give you 300 GP for that. So we're going to go no. Okay, so basically what happens is if you get a guy, no matter how good it is, like say you get a, a five star Manchester United scout, the bad thing is you can't put it on the auction house and get, you know, 50,000 50, GP or whatever it is for it because all you can do is you can sell it right here and get what, 300 GP? So you can never sell a scout. So it's basically pointless. You have to keep everything you get. And uh, cause it, you might as well just use the guy a bit and then uh, if you want to get rid of them, just sell them or whatever, but it's better than just selling the scout right here. An another option we have is um, auction search. We can go in here, we can put to five stars, and I'll show you why in a bit five stars is important. But uh, we'll just see how many five star auctions we've got right now. So, uh, as further explanation to what I mentioned in the first video, uh, I'm going to show you how this kind of works. This first round scout right here, See it says status first round. If we go inside this, at the bottom it says bid window. So the first round bidding is from the 15th to the 15th, which is today, I believe. Yes, so it's today. So when this is done, the, when the first round bidding is done, there's 22 people that have made bids on here. So basically, those 22 people, or it, it could be uh, people making multiple bids, I'm guessing. I'm not really sure how that works, but... As long as there's more than one person bidding on this guy, then it goes to the final round. And then what happens in the final round is everybody puts in their bid. So say this thing ends right here at 35,000. So when it goes to the final round, all the people that bid in the first round, they get to put in one bid for the final round. And it's all hidden, so you have no idea what everyone else is bidding. So say this is 35,000 right here. Say I, I bid in the first round. Now I'm going to the final round. Say I want to bid 40,000 total. So maybe I bid 40,000. Somebody else may have bid 50,000. Somebody may have been crazy and bid 100,000. So the 100,000 guy will get it. I won't get it. So it's kind of like a hidden bid, bid thing, which, uh, which could be a, a way for Konami to uh, inflate the prices, I believe. But you know, I don't want to do conspiracy theory stuff here and like that. But uh, that's how the bidding works. So you have to go through a first round and a final round. It kind of sucks that there's no like kind of like buy it now kind of thing, which I would prefer myself because I don't want to wait. Like some of these auctions are really long. Like look, 11 hours for the ball control one. Like if you go down here, 22 hours, 24 hours. Th these are all first round. So you have to wait. 30 hours right here, 42 hours. You have to wait that long to get the first round done. Then you have to wait for the, the final round. Like, it just takes forever. Like, I wish there was a faster way to do this. They should have buy it now things. Maybe have, like, the uh, pressure conservative. Have a buy it now price of uh, 40000 or something. Like Just, like, something like that. Just to speed things up. Like, this is way too long. And one, one other thing that they have here on here, which is kind of cool, is they have, they have a way for you to check to see if you add other scouts, who the player pool changes to. So let's just see here. I have, we're gonna go inside here for an example. I have a five-star lofted pass. So I'm gonna put five-star lofted pass in here. And see on the right, it's got a player pool. So the best guy I can get is Cruz Fabregas. Okay, so we've got 907 other guys. So say I want to make that pool smaller and uh, say I, I'm looking on the I'm looking through the auction 
things to see what's available. And I'm trying to think of what can I do to make this pool smaller. So let's go right here. They've got some uh, si simulation kind of things you can do, which is if you hit X, so I can hit X right here, and it's going to ask me, okay, which kind of scout do I want to add to this simulation? So let's just say I want to add a five-star scout, okay. And then let's just say league, let's make it, uh, let's go Spanish league. Okay, so if I, if I go in the auction house and I get a five-star Spanish league agent and I add it to this and I add it to the agent I already have, then I can get this list of players right here on the right plus 110 other guys, okay? So maybe I want to narrow that down even more, right? Let's just try a simulation one more time. Let's just say I got a, a five-star scout for, let's see, uh, the current club one is gone, okay. Uh, let's go area, continent. Let's go position, we'll go, just say center mid. See, so if, if I was to get two five-star agents for Spanish league and center mid, you see that this is not narrowing it down enough. I can get, there's three black balls I have a chance of getting, but there's also uh, some golds right here and 48 others. So to put all this money, and I'm sure a Spanish league five-star agent and a, a central mid five-star agent, uh, they're going to be expensive. So to put all this money into this to get uh, a player that is, that has a very good chance that he's not going to be that great is, uh, is not worth it. So let, let's scrap those two. Let's go. Let's remove that one. Let's remove this one. So maybe Lofted Pass is not the greatest one to combine with things, but uh, let's go to uh, Simulation. Let's make it uh, Current Club. Let's try this. Okay, see, this is better. This is better. But still we have five. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five guys this could be if we got a five-star agent for Real Madrid. So uh, let's see here. Center mid. Let's just use center mid for this example. Position. Center mid. So you can kind of see how you could play around with this stuff here. And you see, look right here. So if I got these two agents, which is a five star Real Madrid, and I got a five star center mid, I could get either Cruz or Casemiro. Right? So. I'm sure if you put all this money into it, you're going to end up getting Casemiro, which you'd be pissed off about. But you can see how you can kind of add agency to just narrow things down. And it's a lot better than than in the previous year where, where you didn't see the player pool. So you, you weren't sure if you added these agents. You thought like, you, you knew that there was some people that you could get, but like you, you, you couldn't narrow it down like, like right here. Look at this. There's a simulation. You add the things you want in there. And look, you can get... Uh, you can narrow it down to two people right there. Let's, let's see if I can do like a... Let's see if I can simulate all these. Let's go uh, position, left wing forward. Oops, and we're going to go to five star. Current club, Spanish league. Here we go. There we go. See, so if we get the five star left wing and five star Real Madrid we got Ronaldo there's only one option available here so obviously this left wing and Real Madrid are going to be very very expensive but you can see how, how you can narrow it down entirely to one person which is good so you can guarantee who you're getting so that's going to be a very expensive way to do it but uh, it just gives you some options on, on who, who you want to look for but you have to remember there's a a funny story I saw posted on the, uh, the forums was uh, somebody bid 61,000 GP for a Man City one, uh, no, a two-star, two-star scout. So if you go in here, let's see. If you had just got in here and entered this thing, let's see. Two-star, current club, English League, right here. So see, if if, uh, if he had entered that, that in here, and he'd see that, oh, wow, I can only get two bronze and a white ball from this ball. I don't think he would have bid 61000 on it. So see, people are not really sure how the auction house works, obviously. If you want the top tier guy 
you have to do three five star agents. And all you can do is you can test it if you want. Let's go. Let's let's go to uh let's see. Let's go with five star, we'll go current club. Spanish league. Okay, let's just let's just play around and we'll put one four star in. Let's go. So we'll go to four star. Let's go four star position left wing. See? So say you get the five star Real Madrid and you get the four star left wing. There's no Ronaldo there. So you, you gotta watch out, you gotta if if you want a black ball, you have to get five star scouts. I know lots of people like to play like level one and stuff like that, so they're there's lots of people that are searching for the the cheaper scouts to uh, to get white ball players that they want or silver players that they want. But uh, you got to remember, if you want the black balls, you got to go with five stars. And if you're unsure of, uh, like, say you have a five one a five star with uh, a certain ability or whatever, just put it in here and do the simulation. And then think of go on the auction house and see what's available and put that stuff into the simulation here. Just to see who you can get, and it's it's a really good way to see in the future, so you don't make a a big mistake spending a bunch of money on uh, on a agent that uh, is worth nothing to you. So basically, with this in mind, if you're if you're looking for a really good team, the three star and under guys, you can just always spin those basically because they they don't really do anything unless you're looking for the level one players. But uh, that's it for this part. We're just gonna back out here. I don't think there's anything else I missed here. Of course, they have the watch list. If there's something that you wanted to keep an eye on, you could put it there. Like, say, I'll go here and I'll go... Uh, if I add anything to the watch list, it's going to appear on the first page there. Watch this. This is Croatia 2000. So if I go add to watch list with Y, and then I back out, that's going to be on the main page. Watch. Croatia right there. See? So that's the auction that they show up there if you want to get rid of that you uh, just go in here and uh, get rid of it hit Y again to delete it but but that's a good way to uh, keep track of the auctions that you have uh, your eye on just think if there's anything else I missed here combined scouts uh, five star I think that's pretty much it for the auction house here remember uh, it's gonna take a while with these long auctions all the bidding and all that stuff, it's going it's to be kind of a pain. I don't know if they're going to ever change it and have some buy now auctions, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you, and I hope it helps you avoid spending 61000 on a two-star Man City agent. Do not do that because you're not going to get anybody, okay? And as time goes on, the prices for these five-star agents will come down. So for the first few days here, let everyone overspend because they're all going for Ronaldo and whoever else they want. Just let them overspend. It's going to come down in a bit and then we can go in. We can get who we want if we want to do it that way. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Put some likes down below if you did. I hope it helps you out. I hope it saves you some money. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys have a great day. See you soon.